Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Commander's Crypt. Today, I've got an awesome video for you. I've got a casual deck. I really like this deck. It's Ovika, Enigma, Goliath. For is it in five flying ward three, pay three life whenever you cast a nine creature spell, create X, one, one, red, Phyrexian, goblin creature tokens, where X is the mana value of that spell. They gain haste until end of turn. I like this deck. This is a very fun, casual deck. But before we get into that, what I would like to say is, here at the Commander's Crypt, as you know, if you've watched my channel, we here at the Commander's Crypt want to be a commander community, not just a commander, commander channel. So today I'd like to uh, give a shout out to my biggest fan out in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Yes, they play a lot of magic down there. Lalico, thank you for the nice, kind words. You are a fantastic friend to the channel. Lalico is a DJ and an artist in Sao Paulo that is my biggest fan on the, of the channel. So, if you get a chance, go check her out, Lalico, on Insta. But back to Ovika Enigma Goliath. This guy... Is pretty cool. I like this deck. It's a fun little deck. Basically, you already see what's going to happen here. What's going to happen is we're going to take uh, these sorceries and we are going to, you know, uh, play them and make all kinds of goblins. So without further ado, Soul Ring because Soul Ring. Basically, what we've got going on here is a bunch of uh, mana rocks to make your spells bigger and get to the uh, cost of those spells so which, so you could then start making goblins all over the place. Ovika is already very strong on its own, a 6-6 six, six flyer with ward 3 and, and pay 3 life. That's very strong. You could potentially just take out people with commander damage with him but then, as you see these big sorceries and instants that we are going to be playing, um, or, or, or actually non-creature spells, so it's not just sorceries and instants. So when you play your mana rocks, it'll also be making you dummies, and then you'll be attacking. They have haste. I, I really like this deck, and I wanted to show it to you. Thought Vessel, you have no maximum hand size. Pyromancer's Goggles, what this allows you to do is double your um sorcery or instant spell to cast a red instant or sorcery spell and when you do it doubles it and then when that happens blammo you get double the goblin tokens solemn simulacrum dreamstone hedron worn power stone ashnod's altar so once you have all these goblins out you can now Sack those guys to power your big X spells, which will then in turn make you more goblins. Obelisk of Erd gives uh, creatures of the chosen type goblins plus two plus two. Gilded Lotus, Chromatic Orrery help you cast those big mama spells and to draw cards. Talisman of Creativity, Thran Dynamo, one of my favorite cards. Sunbird's Invocation. Whenever you cast a spell from your hand, reveal the top X cards from your library where X is that spell's mana value. You may cast a spell with mana value X or less from among cards revealed this way. Very strong card. Put the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. Very, very strong card. Uh, I, yeah, I like this card. It works really well in this deck. So what, basically what this allows you to do is if you got a Vika out, it allows you to double your power... And it allows you to make more goblins. Double, you know, you, you, you cast something and you basically get double value for each time you cast something. And you get double the goblins. Next is Skull Crack. Players can't gain life this turn. Can't be provided this turn. Subterranean Tremors. I love this guy. So, uh, with, with this... Uh, in your deck, blammo, you, you play this and you get to do X damage to each creature without flying. And then uh, if it's four or more, destroy all artifacts. And if it's eight or more, put an 8-8 eight, eight lizard creature token onto the battlefield. And then with Ovika out, you're making all kinds of goblins. So you're basically overrunning your opponent's 
I, I actually like this card a lot. Works well in this deck because not only do we have Mana Rocks, but we also have Mind Splice Apparatus, which would allow you to really make big Mama X spells. Speaking of X spells, Blue Sun Twilight. With this, you can start taking over your other opponent's biggest, baddest creatures and making goblins when you do it. Comet Storm. You get to do lots of damage to each of them. Access Denied. It's a counter spell that would make you five goblins, but then also will make you X Doctors whatever, for whatever that spell's mana value is that you countered. Rise from the Tides. Put a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token on the battlefield. Tap for each instant sort of card in your graveyard. That could be actually very, very strong. I think another uh, good card to put in this deck would be Mizzix's Mastery. But uh, Rise from the Tides it's, is basically a uh, from the floorboards, that other massive zombie-creating sorcery that makes you 13 zombies. Next, we have got... And so when you cast this, not only are you going to make yourself a bunch of zombies, but also a bunch of goblins as well. So as you can see, what you're doing is you're overrunning your opponents. Same thing, Call of the Skybreaker. Put a 5-5 five, five blue and red elemental creature token with flying on the battlefield. Retrace, you may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a land. Very, very awesome. You keep replaying this. You keep making flyers and dummies. Ereticus's Vile Duplication created a token that's a copy of target creature you control, except the token has flying and isn't legendary. If that creature is legendary, you could copy Ovika, and now you're doubling the pleasure, doubling the fun. Next, we have got Crackle with Power, one of my favorite cards. If you know anything about the Commander Script, and if you watched any of my other uh, videos, I absolutely love this card. In this deck, it does really well. does uh, even better in uh, decks that make lots of treasure tokens. I see this card clear the table all the time. Crackle with Power deals five times X damage to each up to X targets. So with Nash Nod's Altar, like I showed you earlier, or all these other mana rocks, you could really crack, crank out a mega Crackle with Power, especially with Pyromancy's goggles you could then double it again very strong card one of my favorite cards i'd pick them up if i were you reality shift exile target creature controller manifest top card of his or her library some removals there's a pongify in here as well elminster simulacrum for each opponent you create a token that's a copy of up to one target creature that player controls Six mana, instant, not too bad. It gives you the best creature of all the opponents that you have on the table. And then, of course, it makes you more goblin dummies. Rush of Knowledge. Draw cards equal to the highest converted mana cost among permanents you control. Nice. Theoretical duplication. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under an opponent's control this turn, create a token that's a copy of that creature. Okay. That allows you to copy the baddest creatures that are coming out there and that's a, a, a cheap spell one blue and two that's uh that is a that is a that is a clone for three mana i dig it that's going to make you more goblins pongify one of the best blue cards there is wizards of thay instant sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast you may cast sorcery spells as though they had flash very strong Works really well in this deck. Mind Splice Apparatus, like I said, this thing keeps accumulating uh, charge counters on it, and that means that that's uh, more bigger your X spells for blue or for red. Doesn't It doesn't say which color. Opportunity Target Player draws four cards. Burn Away deals six damage to target creature. That creature dies this turn. Exile all cards from the controller's graveyard. So that's pretty awesome. It gets rid of a prob problematic uh, creature and exiles somebody's graveyard. Other spouts, each attacking creature, its owner puts it top and bottom of his or her library. Very cool. Clone Legion. This, this card is very crazy, super strong. I absolutely love this card. And if you can double this thing, you could basically double two opponents that have big boards, and now you've got triple what, what they've got, but you have got the 
the biggest. You now are in the driver's seat. And now I, whenever this spell gets out, it's usually game over. And if you've got Ovika out, you, you also make nine goblins on top of all of that. For each creature target player controls, put a token on the battlefield. That's a copy of that creature. Next, we've got Drown in Dreams. Choose one. If you control a commander, choose both. Target player draws X cards. Target player mills twice X cards. Etherize, more protection. Surge to victory. Two red and four exile target. Insert sorcery card from your graveyard. Creature you control, get X to another turn. What X is that creature's mana value? Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to play this turn, copy the exiled card. You may cast a copy without paying its mana cost. Crazy strong. Makes your, makes your dudes big. Makes you, uh, allows you to play another card out of your graveyard and allows you to overrun with a bunch of 9-9 nine, nine goblins. Reckless Endeavor. Roll 2, D12. Choose one result. Reckless deals damage equal to that result to each creature. Then create a number of treasure tokens equal to the other result. Very nice. Very nice. For seven mana, you, you basically get to uh, burn somebody out and get a bunch of treasure tokens. I actually watched a guy uh, do this the other day, and he got a, a nine and a ten. Next, we've got Rite of Replication. Copy all your biggest creatures. So you see this is an overrun deck between the goblins and cloning and stealing other people's creatures. Volcanic Vision. Return. Target insert sorcery spell from your graveyard to your hand. The vision deals damage equal to that card's converted mana cost to each creature your opponents control. Exile it. Very awesome. Very awesome. Very cool. Very strong. Again, um, makes you lots of goblins. Discontinuity. As long as it's your turn, the spell costs two blue and two less to cast in the turn. There's, there's a lot of applications with this. If somebody's doing something crazy, you just end the turn. Or if, you know, you, you want to end the turn before you die or, or you know, or you like you got some kind of uh, spell that's going to do something bad to you at the end of turn, you can play discontinuity and, and stop that from happening. Blasphemous Act, one of the best cards in Magic. Uh, the number one red sorcery. Basically, whenever you cast this, it's just going to cost you one red mana, but it's going to give you nine goblins with Ovika out. Devil's Playground, more goblins, Bolt Bend, some removal. If I'm going too fast, just um, pause the video. Flash. Now we get it to the creatures. When the performer ends the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, choose target spell or ability. That target, only a single permanent or player. Copy that spell. Very cool. So that's what you're doing. You're copying spells, copying creatures, making big X spells, making lots of goblins, overrunning your opponents. Prey Caesar Dragon, 4-4 four, four, Flyer, Devour 2. Whenever it attacks, it deals damage to target creature or player equal to the number of plus one counters on it. Very cool. Goblin Trash Master pumps your team, allows you to destroy target artifacts by sacking goblins. Siege Gang Commander. Uh, this is one of the best, oldest goblin cards out there. When it comes into play, put three 1-1 one, one red goblin creature tokens into play. Sack a goblin. Deal two damage to target creature player. Very awesome. Rionia, Fire Dancer. At the beginning of combat on your turn, create X tokens that are copies of another target creature you control where X is... One plus the number of instant cards. They gain haste. Exile them. Okay. Cool. Deluvian Primordial. We got that in here. You may cast up to one target instant sorcery card from that player's graveyard without paying its mana cost. If uh, a card would be put in the graveyard this turn, exile it instead. Very strong. Crazy strong. So again, you're 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 making goblins. You're you're taking people's best. Cloning their best creatures, taking their best spells, taking other spells out of your graveyard, and making creatures with cards such as Dika. Makes you uh, fraggles. We call them fraggles. Devilish Valet, fantastic card in this deck. With uh, Ovika, you play a spell, make six 
of goblins and now devilish valet is like a, a, a power of 128 with trample and haste and someone is dying next is maniform hellkite this is a very awesome card basically for each uh non-creature spell you cost you create an xx red dragon creature token with haste trade wind rider very strong in this card trade wind rider is one of my favorite cards ever it's been around since like 97, 98. Basically, you get to tap three permanents and stop bar bouncing people's stuff. Very strong. Can't deal with that. You're in big trouble. The Locust God. For every time you draw a card, you make more dudes. More locusts. So you're swarming the field. The Tali, one of the strongest red cards after Dockside Extortionist. If you can't deal with this guy, you're in big trouble. You get to cast all the people's spells and for free, and you're making goblins all over the place. Young Pyromancer, Niv Mizzet, very strong. Magnus the Red, I love this guy. Four, five, flyer, instant, and sorcery spells you cost one less to cast for each creature Kanoken you control. Look at that. Look how crazy strong that is in this deck. And then Blaze of uh, Blade of Magnus. Whenever Magnus the Red deals combat damage to a player, create a three-three red spawn creature token. So, if you got a bunch of goblins out, that's going to make your X spells mega, mega huge. Next is Goblin Electromancer. Instance of sorceries are one less to cast. Curiosity Crafter. You have no maximum head and size. Whenever a creature token you have does combat damage to a player, draw a card. That could draw you a bunch of cards. And that's it. Then we've got a bunch of cheap uh, red and blue lands in here. Is it Boilerworks, Temple of Epiphany, Wandering Fumarol, and Command Tower. So I hope you liked this deck. It's very casual, very fun, very uh, relatively easy to put together. And I just wanted to show it to you. We've been doing a lot of competitive EDH stuff here on this channel. But I wanted to show you a deck that's more on the fun, casual tip. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed my video as much as I liked making them. If you're still here, please like, share, and subscribe. And go check out my friend Lalico there on Instagram. Have a wonderful day.